Behind me is MSE. This is a part of the Festina Group's manufacturing for SoProd movements. Inside this facility, they manufacture escapements, including balance wheels, pinions, but most impressively, they actually make the balance springs in here. And so they start with raw materials, they stretch them out into thin wires, they cut those wires, they harden those wires, they fold them by hand and various other steps. It's a 175 step process, some automated, and much of it's actually manual. We spend a lot of time thinking about the finishing on our movements and, and everything else, but that little spring that actually powers it takes a lot of labor to produce, and they're doing that inside. So let's take a look. In this facility, Soprod makes cogs and screws and wheels and all of the like kind of not sexy components that go into your movement. But it's an incredible process to witness because they have hundreds of machines inside. And what really surprised me is that very few of them are actually computer controlled. They have these 60 year old machines that are cutting things down to micron uh, tolerances. And it's, it's a symphony of industrial machinery going on in there. They, they turn them, they cut the wheels into them, they heat treat them, they finish them, and then they of course measure them and quality control them as well. It's really fascinating to see this level of kind of the nitty gritty watchmaking happening. The facility I'm standing in right now is actually in the French side of the Jura Mountains. And what Soprod does here is make base plates and bridges. They take raw brass stock that comes in long strips on giant spools, cut it into little pieces, and they do all of the milling process, all of the cleaning processes, all of the surface finishing processes, all the decoration processes. They even do some uh, jewel installation all within a giant 5,000 square meter space. Um, it mixes old machines and new machines, interesting technologies. It's um, really you know, interesting to see how much goes into making that single little base plate that's on the back of your movement. We've seen how Soprod makes their own hair springs and balances. We've seen how they make all their, their pinions and screws and all the little uh, pieces that go into a movement that you don't think about, as well as the base plates and bridges, how they cut them from raw brass and finish them and make them ready to be turned into full-fledged movements. And in here is where that happens. So they are here, they're taking the parts and they're assembling the movements. This is perhaps the most kind of classic building in terms of what I've seen in watchmaking. You have lots of watchmakers working on different lines and they are assembling those movements, testing those movements. It's a mix of people working with their hands and machines that are automated. Um, some really interesting machines, such as an automated jewel setting machine. So they have a mix of low and high tech in here regulating everything by hand. You know, this is really just where the movements come together quite literally.